Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today, let's solve a hard question from the weekly contest, the minimum incompatibility. The question statement. So we are given an integer array nums and an integer k, and we have to distribute this array into k subset of equal size, such that there are no equal elements in the same subset. And here we define a subset's incompatibility is a difference between the maximum and minimum elements in that array. And we have to return the minimum possible sum of incompatibilities of the k subsets after distributing the array optimally. Or we have to return negative 1 if it is not possible. For example 1, the optimal subset distribution is array 1, 2, and 1, 4. And the minimum incompatibility is 2 minus 1 plus 4 minus 1, which is 4. And for example 2, the optimal subsets are uh, arrays 1, 2, 2, 3, 6, 8, and 1, 3. And the minimum incompatibility will be 6. And for example 3, it is not possible to distribute the nums into 3 subsets where no two elements are equal in the same subset. So we will turn negative 1 in this case. And notice that the data constraint for this question, the length of the nums array can only go up to 16. So this is actually a big hint of probably we can use a brute force approach to solve this question. And that is true. The main algorithm we will use is brute force DFS with memoization. And the data structures and Python libraries we will use are the combinations functions in the iter tools modules in Python to generate the subsets. And we will use tuples and the LRU cache decorator for caching and memoization. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and first import the combinations functions from the iter tools library. And here d is the size of each subset. And then create a DFS function which will return integer. And this function it will be cached by LRU caching. And the base condition if the input array is empty, then we will return zero. And here rest is the output of the DFS function and it is initialized to positive infinity. And next generate the subsets using the combination functions and then loop through the subsets. And here is a condition to check if there are duplicate elements in the subset. And then create a remain array. And then we will loop through every number in the AR subset and then remove every element from the remain array. And finally is to update res by taking the minimum of res and maximum of AR minus the minimum and then recurse into the subproblem and return res at the end. And it will be more clear to visualize this process step by step. So now let's see the code in action. And here we'll be looking at example 1. The nums array is 1, 2, 1, 4. And k is equal to 2. So the size of each subset array is 2. And first step is to generate all possible subsets of size of 2. And you can notice that there is one subset that has uh, duplicate elements. And this subset array will be skipped with this condition. And starting from the first subset, and here we will create a remain array, which is a list of the DFS input nums. And the input for the DFS is a tuple. That is because we have to cache the result. And here we are changing the nums tuple back to Python list. And here I called the subset ARR. And we will loop through ARR and remove each element 
from the remain array using the python remove method. And notice that the python remove method, it will only remove the first matching element from the list. So in this case, the element one, only the first one in the remain array will be removed. And the same for element two, two in the remain array will be removed. And finally is to update rest, which will be the minimum of rest or the difference of maximum and minimum of the AR array plus DFS into a sub problem, which is array one four of remain. And for this example, the optimal subsets are subset one two and one four. And the minimum incompatibility is 2 minus 1 plus 4 minus 1, which is 4. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So for this question, because of its small data size, we're able to use brute force DFS with memoization to solve it. And the data structures and the Python libraries we use is the Python module iter tools combinations to generate all possible subsets. And then we use tuple and LRU cache for caching and memoization. And the time complexity, I'm not 100% sure about this, but there are two to the power of n possible states, and there are combinations of n takes d. And each iteration, we have to make set and list. So this should be the overall time complexity without considering memoization. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.